it was never clear what they were trying to do. You know, whether they were trying to have fun, trying to make great art, trying to drink as much beer as they could, trying to hit, you know, trying to like just travel the world because they were small town kids, you know, kind of, you know, kids in the candy store, whether they were trying to sell records or not sell records or piss people off or make people love them. I mean, it was completely impossible to discern their goals. You know, and that was one of the things that made them great was that, you know, they weren't obvious. I think there are times in your life when, uh, whether it's an artist, a painter, uh, uh, maybe even a politician, a teacher, when you either stumble or direct yourself upon a real McCoy. To come on TV and just totally be the same band that I saw at Dance Interior or Maxwell's or Folk City and, and be like, we don't really care. And then you can see that they kind of do. And, and to walk that line, to be able to play chicken with, with yourself, with your career. They were a glorious mess. You know, uh, that's what they were. You, you got to listen to these records. I mean, you know, perhaps some of their commercial success that eluded them was because a lot of people couldn't figure out who the hell they were.